What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm just going to give you a little update on my day of eating and I didn't think I would really change anything over the next few weeks, even few months, but as with every two or three weeks over the past six months, I have changed things up uh, partially for reasons I'm not too happy about, partially for reasons that I don't really mind, but let me show you guys what we're doing for our first meal today. So last week we did have beef as well as beans in our meal, so these two factors are consistent. Uh, but we just had rice on the side. Today we're going to use some tortillas and I'm going to saute some onions. We're going to have kind of like tacos. I got this inspiration from the carne asada I made Saturday, but I don't feel like making carne asada again. So we're basically just making cannellini bean tacos with some ground beef. I ran out of water kefir because I sold it all for you guys. So I've been drinking some apple juice just to go with my enzymes in my meal. I diluted this with a little bit of sparkling water and my face is definitely breaking out a little bit. Uh, so hopefully I have enough water kefir for myself uh, in the next two or three days and we can get back on track with the optimal digestion. This is really, really fast, really simple. I like this because the, the prep is only five or 10 minutes. You know, the cannellini beans, I just strain them out, rinse them off with some mineral water and they get warmed up in the pan. The ground beef just gets sauteed a few minutes. Same with the onion and same with the tortilla, just a few minutes in the pan and everything is hot, cooked and ready to eat. So we got half an onion in a pan. I'm just going to put some salt on there. I'll just throw the rest of that salt in this pan, which we're going to use to just heat up the tortilla chips. So these are flour, which I like the flavor of over the corn. And if you don't heat these up in a pan or like on the grill, they have like the raw flour taste on the outside. So you definitely want to at least, you know, leave it for a few minutes in a very lightly oiled pan and just get that raw flour flavor out of it. All right. So here I'm just going to strain the beans out. And I'll just take a little mineral water and just rinse them off. And this might seem crazy, but you know, if I'm spending $2 on beans, I'll spend a dollar on water to make sure I get any possible negatives off of them. And yeah, I definitely want to start making these myself, but before I figure that recipe out and how I'm going to do it, <laughs> this is fine. So we got two tortillas done. I'm going to put the ground beef in that middle pan. This is the 93.7 from Frankie's Strange Meat. For the ground beef, I'm just going to put a little water in there so it doesn't burn at the bottom fresh cracked black pepper. So just maybe two minutes in the pan for the beef and I'm just gonna take it off the heat. Leave it like half raw, half cooked, that's how I like it. Onions are browning a little bit. So I've been trying to purchase dish soap as well as laundry detergent for my parents so that when they clean the pots and pans and kitchen rags, I don't have to worry too much about like stuff on them. But you know, they, they go through so much of it and they, they're like lunatics running the dishwasher two or three times a day and they think they have a laundromat downstairs. So hopefully, you know, when I can use my money to put the down payment on the slaughterhouse, I have more money coming in, then I can relocate somewhere where I don't have to worry about the water quality. I don't have to worry about so many things that I'm spending, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and hundreds of dollars a month trying to alleviate. So the onions are sweated a little bit, caramelized. I don't go too crazy with this. Take the beans and the beans are not salted. So put a little salt on everything. So I actually forgot to look at the ingredient list on this brand of tortillas, which isn't that great, but most of the tortillas in the store are basically just corn flour or wheat flour. So it's usually a better option than the burger buns, but we just have a nice little platter here. You know, I can scoop the ground beef on the beans, the onions, and just eat it. So I'm just going to let everything cool off a little bit and then we'll chow down over here. I do have my enzymes and masticum. If you guys didn't see Tuesday's video, we have the official labels for the enzyme blends. I'm using the macronutrient enzyme blend and we also have a carnivore one. I just have some masticum that I'm gonna have towards the middle of my meal. And also uh, yesterday I super dosed some B vitamins. Uh, today I think I'm gonna do some selenium. So I'm doing like one kind of thing each day that usually my diet's deficient in and gauging how I feel from that. It's good to be consistent with stuff like K2, magnesium and, and nutrients we know that we're really, really deficient in. And for the most part, your body can expel the excess and you should notice adverse reactions if you do take too much. But you know, it is unfortunate that we can't just eat normal natural food and not have to worry about you know, going crazy with 10, 15, 20 different types of vitamin and mineral supplements. But uh, that's one of the many consequences of modern life. So this is really the main component of my meal. You know, I have my protein, my carbohydrates, my fiber, plenty of B vitamins in the meat, basically everything I need for energy, for nutrition, and then I'll supplement some stuff on the side, especially with the water kefir, which is really rich in B vitamins. And you know, since I'm trying to gain weight, we'll probably have something as a snack afterwards. So as I've said much more often since I've stopped carnivore, 
you know, it's more about removing negative things from your diet as opposed to adding things in. So as long as I'm organic, as long as you know, I'm not consuming anything that I know irritates my stomach, too high in fat, I'm good to go. This is good, but it's a lot tastier when you marinate the meat and everything. So still enjoyable. Apple juice isn't the worst thing as long as you're not drinking like three or four cups of it at once. All right, so we had one of our taco burritos, whatever you want to call it. So let's go have our enzymes. So as you guys know, I'm always mentioning like I'm tired. I'm looking for shortcuts just because I work every day and I'm kind of fucking over everything. But that leads to me cutting corners where I shouldn't be cutting corners. And that just ends up making my health overall worse. And what I mean by that is instead of taking my, you know, pure custom-aided enzyme blend, I was just taking some other brand supplements which I thought were adequate. So those were Garden of Life Wob Enzyme and now Super Enzymes. And after I took these with my meal, you know, I thought because of my liver damage I needed to rest and lay down. But there is some type of pollutant or contaminant or something damaging to the liver. I'm not sure what it is in this enzyme mix. Because when I take this, which is very similar ingredients to my custom enzyme blend, except not as much high quality enzymes, I just you know feel like I have to lay down. So I stopped taking this. I've been feeling a lot better. I've been getting more done in the day. You know, that's a lot more convenient because it's just, it's just pill capsules and you just take them and swallow them down. This is a powder, so you have to do like the pre-workout stuff where you put the powder in your mouth and then swallow it down. And that's the main reason I'm drinking apple juice because I ran out of water kefir and I need to swallow this down. A little bit of masticum with that. And then we'll get back to our meal. Now, honestly, I'm not much of a fan of the ground beef, definitely. Chop up some ribeye steak, throw it in here, get some steak and throw it in here. It'll be a lot tastier uh, because when I had these with the carne asada that we made last Saturday, I ate a lot more and enjoyed it much more. So I showed you guys these last week and I'm still eating them. Uh, one of the lovely ladies in the comments referred to them as like a tastier Snickers. And, and they're super expensive, like $3 each. And I'm trying to formulate some myself, but these have kind of been helping me uh, keep my weight on. And... I spoke about the ingredient list last week. It's not that great. There's a lot of stuff in here that I wouldn't consume, anti-nutrients and stuff, but for now, um, it's working. And guys, I haven't been working out at all. This is why I'm so against bodybuilding because I have to drink pure sugar and eat candy bars to keep my weight on. So, if I had 15, 20 less pounds of muscle, and was just like a skinny twerp, I'd probably feel a lot better. So that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you guys can have some semblance of understanding of why I'm eating certain foods, you know, before I actually come out with my book sometime next year or the following year. I mean, it's basic. You know, like when I have the white rice, it's starch, it's carbohydrates, it's clean. My body's enzymes are acting on that separately. The fiber in the beans for gut motility, for feeding gut bacteria. Of course, the protein, you know, we've done so many videos on why animal protein is good for you. And then I usually slide a small amount of fat in there, coconut oil for antimicrobial. It's basically a diet that I believe stresses the liver as little as possible, uh, particularly like bile flow, as well as having to process too many nutrients at once. Uh, so if you guys have been having any sort of health issues or aren't doing well with the carnivore diet, definitely you know, watch maybe a dozen or two dozen of my last day of eatings over the course of a week or two, and then, you know, try different things here and there and see how you feel. You know, you'll find nuances like white potatoes are too high in potassium and they make you retain water. So it's really individual from person to person, but, uh, you know, what I've been doing, like a clean carbohydrate source, some fiber for motility, and then beef is protein, has been working really well. Uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you can please drop a like, Leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, go to frank-tefano.com to support me through all of my businesses. We have the meat, Frankie Syringe Meat, the supplements on organ supplements, and who knows how many more businesses I'm going to have next year before I lose my goddamn mind.